this is going to take talent. Board. And the beverage is. Hold on. I gotta put the lid back on it. Diet Pepsi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Pepsi. Anyway, I thought I'd do a mukbang for you guys. It's kind of getting screwed up though because I was started to do one. I got food on my face. Started to do one and then all of a sudden I got stuck babysitting. Kids being loud, noises going on, you know. And now it's going to start all over again. They have radar. And I have been getting requests, personal emails saying, where have you been? So here I've been, sitting my fat ass in Sun Valley, trying to do keto or portion control. I'm at a stall on my weight. It's my fault because I keep getting the wrong things. And I need to me a drink. Mm. Yummy. Anyway, so this is going to be my half-eaten lunch. You, I'll share my lunch with you, so I'll eat the other half. Right? So this is a wheat wheat bun. It's a spaghetti sandwich because I had spaghetti the other night. And I mixed it all up together. It's cold, by the way. I didn't heat it up and made a spaghetti sandwich. I know you're probably thinking, ew, but you know, hey, us ghetto people eat some weird stuff. And then... I had a melon that was kind of going going too soft so I thought I'd cut that up and it was a really small one and make me some cantaloupe strips mm. and I already had my um, tomatoes this is so sweet and juicy I forgot I had the melon I had it on my like little pantry thing and I got looking at it over there I said oh my god I have melon I better eat it so yeah so that's a spaghetti sandwich what it is is actually I ground beef I browned ground beef And that's been in the crock pot all day with prego sauce on it, bell peppers and onions, a little bit of Italian seasoning, and a spoon of sugar to cut the um the spaghetti sauce because it's always tart. That's my secret ingredient. A little bit of sugar. So this is not keto friendly at all. But we'll just have to go on the portion control side. And it's not too dangerous, I don't think. Hopefully. Oh, I found a tomato. And I had bought these tomatoes. Lately I've been doing most of my shopping at Walmart. And I had tomatoes in a little thing. And they're all different color tomatoes. Well, this is a yellow one. Because they didn't have the little red ones that I like, so... I didn't have the gas and it's been too hot here to go to 20 different stores to look for stupid tomatoes, so. Mmm. Sunshine. Water. Yummy. Mm. Oh, I got a seed on that. Yum, yum. And if you're wondering about my bowl, I have a set of these. And I haven't used them until I moved into my new house. So I have these and my corningware, corralware, or whatever. I don't know how you say it. And my old mukbangs, the dishes that you've seen, believe it or not, were dollar store plates. I try to get matching dollar mm. store plates. Is that yummy? Is that yummy? So, a recap on my life. 
Fourth of July. We had a huge barbecue. We had hamburgers and bar assling sausage dogs. I had bought a tub of potato salad because I don't like my own potato salad that I make. I don't know. I don't like it. I prefer the store brand. So we had that. Pringles potato chips, if anybody want them. And we had um, what I call dump salad. Oh, I didn't cut this up very good. This looks like mango, don't it? But it's melon. And dump salad is really good. What I did is I bought a, a thing of blue jello because the whole thing was supposed to be red, white, and blue, right? America, USA, rah, rah, red, white, blue. Anyway, I couldn't find my blue jello. So luckily I had some green jello in the um, cupboard. So I had to make my dump salad with that. So what it is, it's a package of jello. It's a thing of uh, Cool Whip. It's mini marshmallows and cottage cheese. You just dump it together. Oh, and pineapple, crushed pineapple, or pineapple tidbits. <laughs> you don't have to drain the juice off of it. Just dump it all together. But the secret to the dump salad is it has to be in the fridge for a while. Because if you try to eat it after you first make it, it don't taste very good. The marshmallows are just marshmallowy. Woo! You guys fell. Oh my god, did you get hurt? So I called 911? Sorry. I dropped y'all. But anyway, back to the dump salad thing. It's really good, but you have to refrigerate it. And I usually make that for holidays, dump salad, because, I don't know. To me, it's a special recipe, although it's a cheap and easy, everybody likes it recipe, so I should have it more, but then, you know, you got to save some stuff for the holidays, like Christmas and Thanksgiving and things like that. So that's why I don't make it all the time. I mean, sometimes I could make a lot of, but not stuff we enjoy for the holidays. Anyway, so, oh, and I bought star cookies from Walmart. They're so good little cookies that had um, sprinkles on them, red, white, and blue sprinkles. They're so good. I'm getting full. Anyway, um, for my keto diet, I don't really buy any special food. I can't afford special food. I'm keto mama. I barely got enough money to pay the bills, so I just buy regular stuff, you know, like hamburger meat, meat, any kind of meat. But I guess the special stuff would be tomatoes, but it's not special because I eat them every day anyway. So, I don't have money to buy organic crap and all that business. I just get what I get. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do portion control, not eat a lot of anything, you know. But this weight loss is slow. I was doing really good. I weighed like 262 or something like that. That's what I weigh. And I've been weighing 262 now for months. And I think oh, I'll change it up. I'll do the one meal a day. Blah, blah, blah. And that doesn't work out too good. Not because I overeat, but because I'm hungry. So I thought keto. But, you know, here's the problem with um, the weight loss. My weight fluctuates. Like, one day I'll be 5 pounds 